Behold the king, the king of kings. There is only one. The time to play the game. Time to play the game. <laughs> All right, we're here week five of King of the Hill. I have a special uh, guest commentator in the booth today. Randy, how you doing? Good, how are you? This is the Randy. The Randy. Not Peterson. No, just but me. Muse. Almost as legendary. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Got an interesting matchup here. Jacob Glass playing outside. Jared also playing inside. It's Jake. gonna be a uh, carry match. Oh, we'll see. This is Jared Elsup. He's the 20 seed. He qualified uh, with 506. We're on the 40 foot Frankenstein pattern. Our annual Halloween pattern. There is fresh. These guys may have forgot that. Or fresher at least. 25 and 6 out of hook. Not here. Right. Jared looking for his first title of his whole career. Probably his first TV finals. <laughs> Jacob going for back to back. One last week. So here's Jacob Glass. He qualified 14th with 530. Scores were a lot lower than I expected, honestly. I thought the pattern was going to be more forgiving than it was. Surprised that. Like I said, Jacob looking for back to back titles this week. Good for a shot. Great spare. So we had 33 bowlers tonight. Top 31 made match play with 425. That's a lot of pins. Do you know who had 425? This guy right here, Ryan Cody, 425. <laughs> yeah, your house shot. He's the current Sean's Grudge Matches house shot champion. Yeah, I may be able to bowl on house, but I can't bowl on this one. That's right. That's gotta go. It's gotta go quick. So our top qualifier tonight was Ryan Burks with 608. Only person to go positive. That's right. Only one six hundred. Aaron Beaver would have beat him. Aaron who? <laughs> oh, some guy that just won his first regional title, right? Right. I haven't seen him yet. He is well loved in the Sean's Grudge Match universe. Hi, Bill Crane. Aaron won't even come out here to face me for my house shots. Oh, lucky break there. So game pots tonight were being won. First game was uh, Nick Graville with 215. Yeah, they were pretty low. Second game was Ryan Hernandez with 219. And third game, Tyler from the hood, 243. <laughs>
Oh, we got a church. You better start praying. Bounce. Oh, oh, wiggled it. Right now, it looks like whoever can string some marks together is going to win this game. I got a feeling 160 might win a title today. Especially with... Oh, dirty the Brooklyn. secret weapon. Jacob Glass special. That's right. <laughs> Yes, it is a ball to Didn't react enough. Okay. The mark here would be pretty big. Well, he's going to get a second shot to see if he can figure out his strike line. Or just right, man, line, line up Brooklyn, right? Right. Inman 7. Inman 7 on 27. <laughs> Ted Rosenquist, favorite land. I better stop. It's going to be a battle. So we pay the top eight tonight. Is this the highest amount of uh, bowlers we've had so far? So far in the fall, yes. 33 bowlers. Summertime, we've been getting 60 or 70, but it's fall time. It's a little later and later. league yeah. season going and getting colder out. <laughs> but yeah, round of eight, we uh, let's see Corey Duck, Nate Sipe, Marty Freeborn, oh, Randy Muse. <laughs> They all won $35 tonight. Yep. Third and fourth went to Dakota Daniels and Ryan Hernandez. Ooh, that's trouble. The struggle is real. Oh, come on, gotta get you down. That was almost disaster. Jared has 58 in the fifth. On an open. On an open. That's a pretty good Class shot. is going <laughs> to split. And he'll be in the 60s. 60s in the fifth. 50s in the fifth. 69, just fine. That's right. So Jacob's got 71 to 58. 13 pins. Yeah, Jacob with a 13 pin lead right now. On <laughs> Halfway through all on open. I told you 160 is going to win this today. And very well good. Last week I think Jacob shot it in the two teens and he opened in the ninth and tenth. Oh. He's not getting the ball reaction. Say, Randy, if you had a ball selection for Jacob, what do you think he should be throwing right now? Uh, I'd probably go on the rack, find a yellow dot. They hook a lot, strike a lot. 
unless you tug it. Then you open it and cut loose. And another open frame, 79 in the sixth right now. Hey, guess what? A spare will put him right back in the ball game. Yep, right back in it. Shows the difference between 27 and 8 and the rest of the house. They're all hooking more than this, and they haven't adjusted yet. Gotta find that spot. I believe the lowest winning score in King of the Hill history was Chris Cundiff. I think he was in the 120s. Wow. Yes, yeah, so this was back in Dyer probably four or five years ago. Well, however you gotta do is a win. He doesn't get the shot off. We're gonna have to go to a commercial break. Seanstermans.com presents King of the Hill, Late Night, Friday Nights. The fall miniseries runs late September through mid-November, and the summer series runs mid-April through mid-August. Compete against the best bowlers in Northwest Indiana. The TV Finals each week is contested on the Green Money Pins. For more tournament information, past tournament results, and upcoming oil pattern and graphs, visit Sean'sTournaments.com. Big strike in the sixth. Puts him right back in the match. It was see huge. If he, see if he can capitalize. If he could strike here, it would be even huger. quiet. Let's see if we can do it. Works good. Oh, more like Darren Atlas, carry the world, baby! Oh. Randy, calm down. Sorry, I got excited for a double. <laughs> Where have you been, JBL? Did you even have a double tonight at all? I had a couple. I had a, a turkey once. Because I didn't hear you get that loud earlier. No, I was. Uh... Oh, oh what the answer? Go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm figuring it out. It's time for a match. No. Yeah. How much are we paying a first? Uh, 182 for first, 100 for second. That's not bad. For 160 bucks. Oh. oh, it's got a roll. Trip of two, oh. no. Still, so Mark here. You never know. Still a tight match. There's been three splits between the two. And six overs. No. So I think you can Should be no problem on the spare. Collect spare. Uh, Alright, this shot coming up here is going to be really big. Another strike would be even huger. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> One more strike would be even huger. Taking his time. Let's see if he's got it. Great oh, shot. I think he might have found something. That's a great shot. Turkeys are big. Speaking of turkeys, be sure to sign up for the Thanksgiving Eve doubles. Baker doubles. Baker doubles. That would be Wednesday, November 22nd this year. Where can they sign up at? Sean'sTournaments.com. Check it out. Bet your tail feathers all be there. Going for even a huger strike. No! Little outside, and we got trouble. Wash out. Put it on the line. Hang it out to dry. Wash out, baby. It's going to be a huge spare if he can convert. 
Jacob's nipping at his heels. He's got a good hook. He's got to hit his mark. Got a hook. Oh, oh and he gets the kick big shot. Wow. Good spare. That could be a game changer, folks. So that should put Jared in the 160s, 170s. Pretty much. Jacob's going to need to... He needs this one. Yeah. He struck the last time on this frame. On this lane. Oh, right, he's got it. Do we have someone moving in to be number one? I don't know. Jacob Glass is the reigning, defending Sean's Grudge Match world champion. Jacob Glass is a lot like Brock Lesnar. He doesn't defend his title much. <laughs> For no reason. Yeah. Alright, cool, gonna right. need it. Great oh. shot. Big double right there. Clutch. Get another one. That's the Jacob one. Glass I know. Get another one for some more. Alright, second ball of talent, yep. Strike here. That's close. Oh, we missed in. Oh, we paid for it. Still gonna put him in the 160s. I believe Jared still needs a mark. He will need a mark. Which is not easy to do. Not on this pattern. Huh? Huh? Yeah, you're good. We have video of it. Yeah, we'll check the instant replay. Alright, he gets one. Alright, get your one, get your count. One means two. Alright. 166 finish for Jacob. So, Jared's gonna need a spare in three. This mark is big. The man right here. Yep. We've seen washouts, we've seen splits. Anything can happen here. That's right. shot of his career. Great he got it. That is a winner. Well, it's not over yet. He needs two. That is <laughs> now, Earlier tonight, I did see Taylor Hood go double gutter. On a spare. Then he followed it up with a double. So you're right. Anything can happen. That was close, though. <laughs> Good win, Jared. Alright, so Jared is going to pick up his first title. Alright. 173 to 166. Randy, check out Sean's Facebook page and everything else. And give a like. We got to get a word from the uh, winners tonight, real quick. No, 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 no. I gotta go. You gotta go. Okay. <laughs> we'll catch you next week. <laughs> All right, we're here with the winner, Jared Elsop, one hundred eighty-two dollars. This was your first King of the Hill title. Yes, sir. What uh, What was going on here on this pair? Didn't look uh, pretty. Uh, it was definitely fresh oil. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wasn't really prepared for that, that first ball there, man. Uh, what ball were you throwing? I was throwing a storm matchup solid. Okay. Um, along with a high road pearl in there. Um, yeah, I mean, it, what, was, it was tough. What adjustments did you make there when you uh, started stringing those strikes around the sixth frame? Uh, you know, man, I just... I tried to keep from getting it inside you just you got to get it right and then I had adjusted my feet 
to the right about five or six boards. Uh, was off of that first shot, and um, it just it all started to come together, man. <laughs> yep. Yes, it did. So, well, congratulations. Well, thank you. First title and uh, free entry next week. Next week is on the forty-nine foot long thin road. Awesome. Long cool. and thin volume. Very cool. All right. Congratulations again. Thank you, sir. See you next week. Jacob Glass. I gotta start my truck. No, here's your money. Thank you. Congratulations, second place. You do have a free entry again next week. So, and uh, even better, you're still the the Grudge Match World Champion. So you didn't lose your title tonight, yep. but uh, you did lose the King of the Hill title. Yep. So, uh, what what went wrong out there? Uh, I didn't notice that the right lane was like four tighter until the end. It was on me. Uh, I made a good shot in the first one, which was unexpected, and I got nine before that. So he just noticed it before I did. Do you think making that change from the urethane to the reactive? Uh, Played a difference at all? Yeah, yeah, it was way tighter. I mean, obviously it was fresh oil. Uh, Jared just pulled better than me and deserved to win. All right, we're the, the, they're telling me I got to wrap this up. We got about ten seconds, so uh, okay. we'll see you next week. All right, see you. Thank you, Sean. Congratulations. Thank you. King of the Hill Friday Night Tournaments, visit youtube.com slash bowling tournaments or visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash bowling tournaments.